Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Phone Central. Here with a video review of Monopoly Millionaire for Windows Phone 8. This is an Xbox game from Nokia and Electronic Arts. You can play with up to four players, computer or human. If you play human, you have to pass and play or pass or uh, play over local Wi-Fi. As you can see, the loading times are uh, a little too long to start up the game, but once you're in the game, you don't have to worry about that anymore. It uses a nice 3D graphical engine. Not really very important, but nice nonetheless. And uh, probably one reason why this needs to be Windows Phone 8 specific. Okay, now down here at the bottom, you've got all these different options. It's hard to tell what they are, but if you can just press and hold over them to see what they do. Just gonna roll the dice right at first. All right, I got a, landed on a fortune card, got a free house that I can use on any property. Now I can choose to buy or not buy this place. Uh, it's got a value of 20K. So let's see what happens when I don't buy it. Now we go into the game's unique auction interface, and this is really cool. You can choose just not to bid and let the other guy buy it, or place a bid. Now I can type in whatever amount I want, or just say the max bid plus one. Computer bids again. I can also do plus five or plus ten. Let's not do plus five. Is he going to let me have it? No. Nope. Now he's bidding the actual price. So in this case, I didn't really win out. And in fact, the computer doesn't like to let you get a deal in general, unless they're running low on money. So I wouldn't go up against them in auctions until maybe a little later in the game. Now this sign signals that my turn is done. If I don't want to watch him go around, I can just tap the board and he goes. And then I can see what kind of stuff he's done. If I don't want to, I mean, if I missed on missed out on something that happened, I can check the log and just scroll through it. As the game gets longer, it actually takes a little while to load up the log, but it's not a big deal. Tapping the screen also skips the die roll. All right, now I've got a slide deal card. This is one of the new features of the game. I can steal a property from the other guy. So that's a cool thing to do. I'm just gonna buy this property. And once I bought it, my color appears below it. So that's kind of how you track things. Here's the trade interface, making it basically easy to trade. Another unique feature in Monopoly Millionaire is the ability to upgrade your piece, which is called a mover for some reason. Upgrading the piece allows you to collect larger rewards from landing on certain places and stuff, so you pretty much want to do it unless you're running out of money. Buy or auction this place? I think I will. Ooh, a free house card. All right, now I can do something cool. Let's look at my cards. I will use a free house. I can check the percentages, and this shows the likelihood that the other player will land on this piece on his or her next turn. So there is a chance of the player landing here if I want to calculate that into whether or not I want to buy my house. The interface for using the house, a little funky, you have to tap and drag it, which I didn't figure out right at first. Now I've put a house on each one of these. And there they go. Now, as you know from playing Monopoly, I will get a little extra money if the other player lands on that piece. Monopoly Millionaire is basically just a really solid port of Monopoly that is somewhat streamlined for better mobile play. Hey, doubles.
If you enjoy Monopoly, this version is much better than the previous Windows Phone 7 version. I mean, it just looks a lot nicer and, um, you know, it moves faster and that's good. It's also got better achievements, I would say. The only thing is it's a little highly priced at $5 at the moment, at the moment so you have to take that into account. But if you like Monopoly, you'll probably want to get it anyway. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.